Hi all, we're just starting the beta trial for the Jigsaw Tools on S5 Trader platform. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to get set up on the S5 Trader platform with the Jigsaw Tools. First thing you'll need to do is go to our members page, members.jigsawtrading.com. All customers have got access to the uh, S5 Trader version. Uh, for those of you who are on the beta trial who aren't Jigsaw customers, you should actually have received a login to the members page already. Uh, if not, send me an email. Uh, so let me just log in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and look at the products downloads page for OEC Trader. Uh, if you're on the beta, you will also be able to use the Ninja version as well. Just click there. Okay, so what we have is we have three files here reconstructed tape, depth and sales, which is a sim version or an analysis version of the depth and sales tool and depth and sales live which is the one that allows you to trade live accounts uh, then we have the manual manual is the version 4.2 manual uh, there are some cosmetic changes um, in, the, in the product so but this manual is still valid and then we've got the cheat sheets so to do the downloads what we have to do is click on each link okay and then what we'll do is look at our downloads and all we have to do to install is just make sure that the S5 Trader platform switched off and then just double click each file. Clicking the file will bring up this dialog box uh, just click next to install and the next one and you just do the same thing for the other two files. Okay once that's done uh, we're installed. Go back. Uh, you will need your license keys when you actually run the product, um, but for now we can go over to the S5 Trade product and have a look at the tools there. Okay, so at this point, uh, the software is installed. You won't actually see the software on the start menu, uh, it's just available from within the S5 Trade platform. So let's just have a look how we do that. Uh, first of all, uh, one thing to note is you probably won't need the S5 Trader Depth of Market or the S5 Trader Tick Stream. Um, so what I do generally is when I'm using this I will unlock the windows and that will let me close those out. To actually add uh, the indicators what you do is you get an intraday chart for the instrument and you can right click go to indicators jigsaw trading and the first one I'll add is the depth and sales live there's no settings to make on here so just click OK and the first thing it's going to do it's going to ask for your license key so we'll just grab the license key and the license key we need is this um, live trading subscription okay so we'll just grab that one so that's for the depth and sales live just make sure you get the one that says monthly live trading subscription and activate okay okay so here we have the the depth and sales open obviously you want to arrange your workspace um, so that uh, you don't have the depth and sales over your chart okay so I'll just put that over here so there's my depth and sales with the trading window There are quite a few options on here. Um, one of the things that a lot of people like to do, they like to highlight uh, large bids and offers. So we'll say 500 is a large one uh, this time of night. Um, but basically, the manual, it's all in the manual basically uh, on how to use this. And there are some videos on the site of how to get set up. And then let's look at the reconstructed tape. And again, when I try to run the reconstructed tape, again, it asks me for a license key. So all of the products use the same license key, which is just the depth and sales live uh, that has an additional key. So if I just put this key in, activate. 
actually work. Okay. Uh, once you've got your setup, a good thing to do is save the layout. So I'll just save uh, and I'll call the, the layout uh, S5 Trader. Okay, and then what we can do as we change layouts, I'll go to a different layout. Okay, when I come back, it'll remember the layout for us. So I'll come back to my S5 Trader layout. So it'll remember your layout, it'll remember your layout when you exit and you come back in. The layout for the our software will be the same. A word about these subscriptions. Uh, S5 Trader does have some limits in terms of how many windows you can open uh, because each window opens a subscription. So if you're opening a tick stream window, I think you've got a maximum of five tick stream windows. Now, with reconstructed tape, a lot of people like to open multiple instances of reconstructed tape. Uh, some like to see a, a tape for just the buy orders and a separate one for sell orders. Some like to see large trades. There's a lot of different ways you can configure it. Now what we do is we actually do subscription sharing. So you can open as many reconstructed tapes as you want per instrument um, and put, it'll just be one subscription it takes up per instrument. So it gives you the ability to kind of look at that, you know, ch chop up your, your time and sales age from different ways. Uh, for the issues you find, uh, I would appreciate if you could come to our Jigsaw Trading Forum. Uh, so jigsawtrading.com slash forum. Uh, there's a beta test area, it's currently empty. Your sign on here is different from the member site. Uh, a few of you have signed up already, so thank you for that. Um, if you want to email me an issue, that's fine, but I will put it in here as well. And if you actually want to come and see other people's issues, then come and have a look in here. So I think we're covered for now in terms of getting yourselves up and running. Uh, please do have a look through the manual. The manual is quite useful uh, in terms of uh, you know how to use the software and the alerts that kind of thing we do have summary tape that will be coming out uh, next week uh, but we should be able to do one release per week um, with a view to getting this uh, all cleaned up uh, in about three or four weeks so thank you all for your help and I'll speak to you soon bye